Howdy, howdy, howdy. Let's get hot rowdy. One day late. Yep. Uh, yesterday was a very early day for us. We um, were up at quarter after six. And yes, that is extremely early for us, even for Mr. Jeff Lope. Oh boy, but we had a really good day. We were able to take care of our little man, which it's been quite a while since we've been able to see him. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I digress. Today is my <laughs> show and tell of hashtag Bod had a palooza with. Laura from Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming. Um, I did not finish this because uh, two reasons. My thumb started to hurt and I did not want to go down that road with, you know, having to get this hooker versus hooker wreath done and um, uh, more Boggy Creek blanket you know it's just it's just kind of that time of year excuse me Kiva's wanting her dad to move his foot so she can lay down with him it it go on <laughs> too late sorry oh, again I digress I just it, it's gonna be a squirrel day today uh, anyhow I didn't finish it because my thumb, this one, started to to hurt and I don't want to go down that alley. Second, um, what everybody else used must have been, I know they said a Super Jumbo 7, but this must be a Super Jumbo 8 because, oh shoot, what did I do? Uh, oh, please. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay. I used um, Lion Brand yarn. I like big yarn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days. I like big yarn. And I cannot lie. <laughs> okay, it says. I used a, uh, my big 15, and it was still too small <clears throat> for what they, <clears throat> excuse me, what they called for was a, which I've never heard, I have to go through all my stuff, 19 millimeter. It might, but anyhow, like you saw, it's 100% acrylic. It says Jumbo 7, but uh, I tell you, my uh, stitches are so tight. But there you go. Back it way up. Oh, I think I may have it on, on the back side. Um, I don't know. But even Mr. Noggins is having a hard time. Oh, and this yarn stinks. Phew. Hmm. It smells like oral oil. So there we go. I got most of it done. And I know my dear, sweet Laura saying, cop out, cop out. So be it, I copped out. But it's a nice, I haven't taken this off yet. It's a nice size and it is very squishy for Miss Kiva the Diva. When we take her in the truck, put it on the console and she's got herself a little baby. And if she's 
so inclined, which I seriously doubt. We can open it up and put her in there. I doubt she'll, I doubt she will go for that. She's, uh, she's not necessarily one to be covered up all the way. Once in a blue moon, but not so much. So that was my bod head of Palooza's. And oh, did I write it down? I think I did. You already saw everything. Uh, oh, I did not. So, but you all saw everything. I guess I better write it in my book. So there we go. Um, our Mr. Bandit goes in tomorrow for a much needed uh, dental appointment. He, uh, when he was a baby baby, he had um, he had worms really, really bad. I'm watching him lay down. His back legs still aren't doing all that great. Um, when we got him, he was just riddled. He was he had enough that uh, the vet even told us, "Don't even name him," because seriously doubt he's gonna survive. And we were like, "Watch us." No. Anyway, so yes. <clears throat> he is still here with us, obviously. Um, but because he had worms so bad, he did not develop um, something correctly for his uh, teeth. So um, he gets inflamed. All, I won't even go into all of that. But we have a feeling that this one is going to be... Um, a few extractions. So say a little hum and a 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 oh bend be okay. Uh just because for uh his size and how his health was he he's he's getting up there. He's ten years old. Um he's still bounces around and gets excited so i'm not as they say writing them off yet um i tell you if we could anyway won't go into that we'll all get kind of teary-eyed with that one anyway um that's pretty much it i have some have an acquisition and i have the tiniest yarn haul that I got with this yarn. Um, so I will be back and show you all my pretties. Y'all take care and howdy to my new yarny friends and my old yarny friends. And y'all take care, stay safe, be healthy, and remember to spread Sprinkle kindness. See y'all later. Bye, y'all.